There has been a ton of drama this week in the print-on-demand universe regarding whether or not you can use designs that you create on canva.com to sell on your print-on-demand websites. So in this video, let's dive through the facts, what actually happened, what Canva's terms and conditions say, and what we should do next. So let's start with can you use Canva for print on demand and where this all started this week and why everyone is so upset and worried because I know I've been getting this comment a ton on my channel. So it all started in the Canva design community Facebook group. This woman, Jo, is a moderator in that Facebook group, but she does not work for Canva. And she made this post explaining Canva's terms and conditions. And what really started this all off was this page here that says, what can't you sell? POD, print on demand items and merchandise created with any of Canva's content. And that is what has really sparked this conversation. You can see this post had hundreds of comments and this individual photo had over 65 comments before the actual comments on this post got turned off and before this post actually got deleted. So this is really where it all started. But again, I do want to stress that she does not work for Canva. This is what she edited the post to say later. It said, please know I am not employed by Canva. I am a Canva ambassador. Blah, blah, blah. She doesn't work for Canva. That's the most important thing to know. So we don't want to just take somebody's word. So let's again, like I said, dive into the facts of what we do know. Here's what Canva actually came out and said after that post. They said, we hope you're all having a great start to the week. We wanted to share an update and some guidance following a post over the weekend about our licensing terms, that post. While we absolutely understand and love everyone's enthusiasm and willingness to help educate our community on this topic, unfortunately, some of the information shared over the weekend wasn't quite accurate. We've removed the post to avoid creating any additional confusion, and we've captured all of the great questions raised in the thread. We completely understand that content licensing is an important topic for our community and it's an area we've actively working to simplify. Following the post shared over the weekend, we'll be creating a Canva help article in the next day or two with answers to some of the questions raised in the thread, including extra and more simplified guidance on selling designs. In the meantime, we want to share a quick reminder that the best place to get information is Canva support and our content license agreement. So what they were saying is that some of the main things in that post were actually not all the way true. So this is good news for us. This is not Canva coming out and saying that we are not allowed to sell print on demand designs. So I'm hoping they're going to be giving us more clarification soon. And like they said in that post, they said to message Canva support if you have any questions. And so that's exactly what I did. I messaged them and specifically asked, can you use pro elements from Canva's library to create print on demand items into a larger unique design and sell it? And while they weren't completely upfront, they again didn't say, no, you cannot do that. They said, we appreciate you reaching out to clarify if you're allowed to use pro elements from the Canva library in creating designs. We're happy to inform you that Canva empowers our users to create amazing designs using the available content elements in our library, as long as you comply with our licensing agreement. Since you are subscribed to Canva Pro, please note that all content available for Canva Pro subscription is licensed under Canva's content license agreement. As long as you incorporate the stock media on a design by adding elements, photos, text, videos, or backgrounds in order for you to comply with the licensing agreement, then you are free to print your designs on items or products for selling without limits. So let's dive into a little bit more of what that means, because I still feel like their message is kind of vague. So like, as long as you comply with it, then you can sell those designs that you've used free and pro elements with onto your print on demand store. It's just not completely clear. So this is why I actually thought it was clear this entire time and why I've promoted using Canva to use for your print on demand business the entire time that I've had my YouTube channel. And it was because of these particular pages. So I'll show you where I found this in a moment, but it says using content in your designs. By using content in a design, you're creating something unique. Once you do, there are very few restrictions on what you can do with your creations go wild. However, standalone content, so for example, a photo used on its own without any other design elements has restrictions. For example, it can't be printed on products or merchandise for sale. 
So what they're showing in this picture is you can't just put a picture on a shirt and sell it. You have to add other actual fonts, other graphics, and create it into your own unique design to be able to sell it on items. There's even an FAQ underneath that that says, can I sell products or merchandise with my design on it? And it says, yes, all keyword all of our photos, fonts, and graphics can be used to create designs for printing on products for sale like t-shirts, mugs, books, and other merchandise. Please note you can't sell standalone prints of Canva content such as a printout of a stock photo without any other design elements on a t-shirt. So it seems very clear, yes, you are able to sell it. You just can't use graphics all by themselves. You have to create them into a larger, more unique design using those. And this is where I've always thought it was very clear and safe to use Canva. But let me show you where I actually got to this because I want you to know how to get to this information yourself. So when you're in Canva and you're looking at different graphics that you can use, uh, especially pro graphics here, you can click this little three dots button and it's going to one, show you who actually created this graphic. And then two, it's going to show free for Canva Pro and you can click the actual license to understand more of how to sell this. So if you weren't familiar, because I think this is an important part of why all this is happening, Canva doesn't create graphics themselves. They pay for graphics to be put on this website by designers all over the world. And so they upload their designs and they get paid by Canva when those graphics and fonts and everything are actually used by us, the actual users. And so I think that's where the confusion is coming from. They have to make sure that they are able to license out the work of these designers, if that makes sense. So let's click this for more information. You'll see licensing made simple. You can use this safely in a Canva design for personal and commercial uses. So learn more about this license. When you come to this page, Canva licensing explained, and you come down here to the bottom, this is where I took those screenshots from. So what's allowed? You can use our content in a Canva design for a wide range of personal and commercial uses. And then here it goes into what I showed you, how you have to use it as not standalone products. You have to create it into a larger design. And then down here at the bottom with the frequently asked questions, this is where it answers that piece of it. So I thought again that it was all clear this entire time, but I think the confusion starts to come in when you look at a few things in the licensing that's got some people to question, are you able to specifically use for print on demand or not? Because some people are arguing that you'd be able to print that item onto say a mug. So let's say you had a mug press at your house. You print this on there and then you sell it. Everyone's saying that's fine. What people are arguing on the internet, who again, don't work for Canva, are saying that the problem lies in actually sending this file to Printify and then having them print it. And that Canva's licensing doesn't explicitly say yes or no that you can't do that. So let's look at their actual license together. So right here on Canva's content license agreement, and I'll link this down below, when you come down to section nine for the prohibited uses, this is where it's causing all the controversy. Some people are saying that when you look at number five, where it says use or display the content on a standalone basis on websites or other venues designed to induce or involving the sale, license, or other distribution of on-demand products, including postcards, mugs, t-shirts, posters, and other items. But we know from that other post that when and they're talking about on a standalone basis. They're talking about an individual graphic without your own unique things added to it. So that's what I'm taking from this, is that you can't sell it by itself, which we've known the whole time. You can't just put Canva graphics onto a shirt and sell it. So I think this really just goes to the same point that we've already known. I don't think that means that we can't sell print on demand products. Where some people are saying it gets questionable is with some of these points down here and how you actually share that file. So point number 10, incorporate the content in any form, any product that results in redistribution or reuse of the content or is otherwise made available in a manner such that a person can extract or access or reproduce the content as an electronic file. So what some people are saying is that it comes down to how the file is shared and that that actually goes against the prohibited uses because you're sharing the file with someone who hypothetically someone at one of these print on demand companies took your design and actually used it in a different way that they didn't have the license to. That's what some people are arguing. I one don't think that is happening. And two, I don't feel like this actually goes against their prohibited uses. It doesn't sound like it does to me. 
So what can you do with Canva while we wait for confirmation from Canva? You can create text only designs because everything that I've seen confirms that you can use Canva to create text only designs since fonts can't be stolen in full from one design. It's not giving them that full font file that they could steal. And so you can create any text only designs. Two, you can also use graphics from other websites. So you can use graphics from sites like Creative Fabrica, where you are granted for sure a print on demand commercial rights license to use them in your designs. And you can add these fonts and add these graphics together in Canva and then sell those. So these are both confirmed ways you can still use your Canva Pro account. What is up in question is whether or not we can sell designs with pro and free elements. Like I said, with looking through the license myself, just like I've always thought from the beginning, this seems like it is covered and able to be used in my opinion. But I do think that it is worth waiting to find out for sure until we hear back from an actual Canva employee to know whether or not we are using their software correctly. Because again, Canva has never come out and said anywhere that you're not allowed to sell designs created with it using a print on demand website. So let's again, wait for clarification before jumping to any conclusions based off of what a random person on the internet says. So what comes next? Let's try and hold Canva accountable. Let's keep asking Canva for clarification on their terms and service until we get answers. And then I will definitely update you all as soon as I get more information. So let me know down below in the comments, do you think looking through the terms and conditions that it seems like selling print on demand from Canva seems like a good use based on their terms and conditions and what they have written out and what we're able to do? Or do you feel like we don't have the rights to use it? Again, I think we all wish that it was much more clear, but hopefully we will get answers so, so soon. Stay safe out there. Don't let these things panic you or shake you. You are still able to make money on these platforms with or without Canva, with or without anything. You are able to do this. If we have to pivot and use new softwares, we will, and I will be with you every step of the way and giving you my recommendations. But until that time, I'm not going to recommend jumping ship on Canva until we get real clarification. So please take a moment to like this video and comment down below what your thoughts are and subscribe if you want to see updates on what happens in the future and I'll see you in the next one.